Hey, Taylor here, and welcome back to another session of Pellet Tech 101. So today I have a combustion blower, also known as an exhaust fan, and I'm going to show you how we reverse the direction of this motor. So as these motors come from factory, they're going to primarily come as a clockwise rotation motor, meaning as we look at the shaft or the paddle here, it's going to be turning in a clockwise direction. There are a few stoves that are on the marketplace that require a counterclockwise combustion blower or exhaust motor. Uh, in the event that you have a stove that requires a counterclockwise direction, uh, this video is designed to show you how we do that um, simply and easily. So essentially, we just need two tools. I have a number two Phillips screwdriver and I have a flathead screwdriver. So as we look at the top of the motor, we have two Phillips screws that are holding on basically a cap that is covering up our bearing and our armature. And then we have two screws here that are holding the magnet to the actual casing of the motor. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and first pull out the two screws that hold the magnet to the casing. So the first screw right here also has a green ground wire connected to it. So not all stoves will require a green ground or have a ground wire. If your stove does not, you can simply leave that wire disconnected or you can take it off altogether. Each one of these screws does have a small locking washer. So it is important that we don't lose that locking washer. Keep that with the screw. So now basically I have the two screws out that are holding the magnet to the casing. Next I want to go ahead and remove the two screws that are holding the cap onto the armature and bearing. Same thing, each one of these screws is just going to have a small locking washer. Make sure that you keep that with the screws. The screws that are holding the magnet and the screws that are holding the cap are different sizes. So I'm just going to separate them. So it's nice and easy when we're putting this back together. Alright, and now I have everything out. I've got my lock washers there with the screws. So we're ready for the next step. So essentially what we first need to do is we need to pull off the, the cap here that's covering up the bearing and the armature. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use this flathead screwdriver and I'm giving very little force, but I'm moving from the left side to the right side, back and forth like this, just gently raising up that cap. Again, very, very little force here. You'll have to go back and forth a few times and you'll slowly see this cap start to raise up. And then she'll pop off. So within the cap there is a, a silicone or rubber protection piece that's in place. So sometimes that is going to come off uh, with a cap like this one did and sometimes that is going to stay on the bearing. So sometimes when you pull that cap off it's going to be on the bearing and kind of looks like that. So if it is on the bearing we want to go ahead and get that off. Same thing we want to be kind of careful with it. I'm just prying up a little bit on a few sides. We don't want to rip or tear this silicone sleeve. And we make sure that that's pulled off and keep that with the cap. So now that I have everything pulled off, the magnet essentially is loose from the motor here. Same thing, I'm going to be careful. I give it just a gentle wiggle and this magnet is going to slide up and off of the motor armature. To reverse the direction of the motor, we're simply going to flip the magnet 180 degrees and that reverses the polarity and changes the direction. So we're going to slowly slide that back down over the armature. You're going to kind of feel it lock into place. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put in the screws that held the magnet to the motor casing. So we have our first screw with the, the ground wire. Again, if you don't have ground, you can leave that green wire off of there. I'm just starting to thread these in. I'm not tightening anything down at this point. Just getting them initially threaded so our motor is secured to the magnet and next I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put on the cap. So the important thing with the cap here is that I do want to have this 
uh, this silicone or this uh, small rubber bushing that goes over that bearing. I do want to have that inside of the cap when I'm putting this back on. It is important. So basically I'm just lining it up here and I'm just using my index fingers or my my thumbs to slowly push this cap evenly down on each side of that bearing. And it is a very tight fit. So again, I'm just kind of working on side to side, back to back, and just slowly getting that started and getting that put down onto the bearing. Now once I have that uh, initially in place, I'm going to go ahead and start putting our screws back in. So I'm going to line this up and we're just going to slowly start threading that. One of the most important things with this cap is that we're evenly tightening this down. So it's a very important aspect to this. And uh, again, we're guiding this cap right back inside of the, the groove here. So I just start threading. I'm going to do a little bit on the right side. I'm going to do a little bit on the left side. Again, very, very important that this is evenly, evenly tightened down. So again, we're just doing a little bit on each side. And that's guiding everything down nice and even. And then as it starts to tighten up, we're just going to snug that, snug that. And we'll go ahead and we'll snug up the screws that are holding the magnet to the motor casing. Same thing, just a light snug on the left, light snug on the right. Let's go ahead and tighten those down. No need to over crank. We just want a nice snugness to them. And then now uh, let's go ahead and, and uh, tighten down the cap here. So same thing, it doesn't need to be over tight at all. I'm just making sure that everything is uh, nice and secure. And that's it. That is the successful rotation change of a combustion blower exhaust fan. Um, hopefully this video was helpful in the event that you did need to reverse the direction of your motor. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to uh, make a mention below. We're always happy to assist and make sure that everything is 100%. Thanks again for joining us. Hope to see you for another session of Pellet Tech 101.